Boy, I know you can't help but to be yourself around me Yourself around me Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog Tell me why I am Alright, first of all I am off work and I'm about to go crazy. I parked under a tree and ants got all up in my shit. Ugh. I don't know how I'm gonna make it home. Ugh. I'm going crazy. All right. Anyway, welcome to another vlog. I'm fresh off work. Um, it's gonna take me like 45 minutes to get home. I accepted a new position. I still work for the same company. However, I took like a local travel position where I traveled to like three hospitals. Um, two of the hospitals are like 10 miles from my house. The third hospital, this one, is like 45 minutes. It's in a whole nother county. It's in Hillsborough County. So I have to travel over here. Well, so this morning, like the way it works is I just pick up the days I want to work out the week and then they text me at like 4 a.m. that morning and tell me what hospital and what unit I have to go to. Which kind of sucks on the days that I have to go over here, but for the money, it is what it is. So, well, it's been working fine, but this morning they never text me. So I called at like 5.30, that's my time to wake up. I'm like, hey, I never received a text telling me um where to go. And he's like, oh, for some reason you didn't pop up on my list, but I want you to go work in ED off at my original hospital. And I'm like, boom, you know, I live 15 minutes away. Perfect for me. Girl, y'all know he called me back in like 10 minutes and was like, oh, actually I need you to go out to um Plant City and work out there or whatever and go to this unit so my job i didn't get up at 5 30. i thought i could sleep in for another 30 minutes 15 minutes not 30 but another 15 minutes so i get up i try to rush out the house make sure i get the kids up make sure they getting ready for school before i leave i get over here of course i'm late i get there at 6 53 so now you got me torty because you calling me all late and shit or whatever. So when I get there, they're like, oh, we don't want you. Well, they didn't say they didn't want me. They said, you're not over here. Mind you, I can see my name written in and then they crossed me out saying, oh, you over on 2 East or somewhere. We got Nelly. So I go, Nelly is like, oh no, I'm on 3 North. I'm like, Nellie's not over here. You're on 2 East, like. So she's like, no, we got, I got, Nellie is over here. You need to go to 2 East. So I go to 2 East, I call my manager, the staff recording, and I'm like, yo, they talking all this, blah, 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 blah. So I kind of find out I'm still on that unit. So basically, they basically, they just wanted Nellie because they knew Nellie. She works over there before, cause she's a float just like me. She's worked over there before and they didn't know me and they basically was getting rid of me. And I'm like, first of all, bitch, if I can't choose where I work, cause I wouldn't be coming to this damn hospital if it was up to me. So if I can't choose where I work, y'all can't choose who y'all get. Because at the end of the day, none of this ain't none of our shit like this ain't even your hospital this ain't your unit you work here just like i do so if they say that chris and renee is coming to work on your new unit god damn it chris and renee is coming to work on your unit and that's that but you know i was gonna email my supervisor and tell them how unprofessional they was and how unprofessional they is at this hospital over here and Hey y'all, I know the last time y'all saw me, I was ranting and raving 
about how these nurses be trying me. So my phone ended up flopping down and saying it was overheating, I was out of storage or whatever. So I couldn't finish my rent. But I took that as like God telling me like, Kristen, chill. They tried you, they did, for real. But don't hold on to that. Like look at the bigger picture. So I'm on this little personal development. Y'all know I'm always trying to elevate, whether it is through education. <coughs> Bless you, man. Y'all, I'm sorry. My baby hair is a mess. He got a little snotty nose. He is teething and it's putting him through it and it's dragging me too. So, um, I've been reading The Four Agreements. If you have not read the book, please do. If you're a nurse, or in the healthcare field, please read the four agreements. Because it's one agreement that says, don't take anything personal, whether it's good or bad. And I was like, you know what? Let me just keep impl implementing that in my life. Like, don't even take it personal. Because a lot of these chicks be going home miserable. So you can't take that. You can't, you can't internalize that and let that ruin your day. But that was just that day. It has been a week, baby, and, I, and everybody's saying that Mercury is in retrograde or whatever. It's retrograde in something, very much something. That's why I don't like talking to you, the universe because it's very much always something in retrograde. Like, they canceled my workshop. Like, I wanted to keep vlogging, you know, my work week, but work was working, okay? They canceled me. And they said it's because you're on an extra shift. And I'm like, duh, don't be canceling me. I bought that coin. I'm only over here. I took this position for this money. So they canceled me, which means I couldn't have got my bonus. But don't you worry. Yeah, no, I told y'all I can self-schedule myself. So guess what? Einstein did. Schedule myself for another shift the next day. And that was short staff. So your girl still ended up getting her extra shift. Still ended up getting her bonus and very much paid, okay? So, I'm on a five-day off stretch because this is me and my husband's two-year marriage anniversary. I keep on saying a wedding anniversary, but y'all know I didn't get married. I mean, I didn't have a wedding because I eloped. <laughs> but um, this is our two-year anniversary. We going, we ain't going to do much. We're going to go to Orlando one night, and then we're going to go to Tampa the other night. So we're going to spend a weekend away from the kids, but we're going to hit both coasts because we want to do two different things. Friday is my night, and Saturday, our actual day, is going to be my husband's night. So, you know, we're just going to do plan, do a little surprise each other, whatever. Like, I know what we're doing. I know we're going to dinner and stuff on his night. But and he knows that we're going to this place on my night, but he don't know the surprises that I got in store for him. But anyways, back to work. So this new position, y'all, I printed off my paychecks because I'm going to do a video on um, my pay growth over the course of 12 months, right? And I literally, I've doubled... And probably tripled my pay. I don't know. But y'all watch that video. Because even though I'm going to film the video after this vlog. I'm going to edit and post it before this vlog. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. Because taking this position has really helped me financially. Thank God. And it really has taken me back where I don't have to work as much. And if I do, it's solely because I want to, not because I have to. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity, so I'm not gonna let these miserable heavens trick me up out my spot, because that's what the devil wants you to do, to trick you up out that blessing, and he ain't. So, um, today's to-do list is, I took my braids out, y'all know I had a little heart braids, stitch braids. Um, I'm gonna put my relaxer in, I'm gonna put a quick weave in, and get ready for this weekend. Let me show y'all some things I picked up from Torje. So, 
I want to do my little Target haul by myself, but Cash ain't letting me out his sight. Anyways, so I'm probably gonna wear. I got this two piece little set from Target. Um, this is so trendy. Everybody got it. Like these little flannel two piece. I got the top. I mean, these are the pants and I got the jacket to match with it and I'm probably gonna wear a little bralette, a black bralette that I bought from Target too. I'm probably gonna wear this under it and kind of keep my jacket, you know, zipped a little bit because my day is gonna be a fun day. It's not gonna be um, a sit down, Fufu day, like we like to do things, and because we just had this busy baby, and he is, <laughs> and we got eight kids, we don't really get to have fun by ourselves as adults. So we're gonna take this time to just really enjoy each other and have fun. And y'all know what you do on anniversary trips? You get zit down. So I got major zit appointments this weekend. So I picked up a little bit of lingerie. If you got a man at the house. You need to have you some lingerie, some lingerie tucked away in the clutch because that man, that man want a woman. He don't want mama bear. He wants a lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets. So I need to do a little quick little how to keep a man type of video. Um, but it don't even have to be like super extravagant. It can be very much simple. Not basic, but simple. So I got this little bralette and these little lace panties to go with it. I know these look like big mama draws, but I got. Really, I know these look like big mama draws, but I got a fat ass, so <laughs> they'll get ate up. Um. So yeah, just a little lace action so that I'm still comfortable. So that I'm still comfortable. And then these are big mama draws, but they're high waisted. And I got these to go with this bra for not this weekend. But you know, when I'm at home and this is just a regular, regular, schmegular day, I'm gonna go run errands and I wanna be comfortable because I got a big booty. I do not like thongs, but I wear them for my man. Um, what else I got? Um, I showed y'all this black bralette. Um I got this and and a black lace box for this. And I got a tripod because I have an extra camera. I'm gonna try to stop vlogging or stop recording my videos on my camera, but it's an old camera. And I used to use it a couple years ago, but I didn't like the quality, but come to find out it really wasn't the quality of the camera. It was my lighting, but it's a huge, big, chunky camera. But at the end of the day, girl, I gotta do what I gotta do to make this content and get it out quality for y'all. So it is a little bit better or kind of like equal quality to my, cam my camera on my phone. But the difference is on my phone, I only got so much storage and it slows down your phone. It's just a whole mess. But if I use this outside camera, I can edit on the computer. I can save it to a hard drive and I don't have to take up the space on my phone. So yeah, that's that. Come enjoy the life, baby, take a bite. I just want to find you, you, baby, you and I. Can have a good time. Tell me what you like. Ooh.
me show them why I beat you in this game. She thinks she's gonna beat me. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Heels from Ego, my coach purse, and my finest man, <laughs> my husband. <laughs> Whew.